Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, your boy Dom here for the 71621 patch notes. So I apologize. I was going to do these uh, today. I was going to do these notes today with today's patch notes, but I didn't realize how much they were releasing content wise for the 71921 patch notes. So I'm going to do this video really quick uh, and make sure to definitely go check out the new video when it comes out uh, if you watch this at the time that it comes out. So, going over this, I'm just going to be briefly going over this because a lot of stuff here gets mentioned in the in the new patch notes. So, various section. Action Heroes Commanders. Uh, Braddock is still in the lead, but Rambo takes second place, meaning Snake is in third. Sad British noises. Whatever, I guess that's people who liked what Commander was out. Hiss and Cobra Commander, lead of the G.I. Joe content release so far. The Mauler with Roadblock and Cat with Baroness released. Cat is in the lead for the most people that have bought, I guess, or they liked. I don't know. Last week, critical hits now show correctly in post-battle results screen. Spectator mode in custom games. The spectators are no longer visible on the scoreboard and nameplates now appear, which is really nice. However, I still think there's a little bit more for Commander mode. My bad, not Commander Mode, but Spectator Mode that they can definitely work and fix on. Uh, fixed being sent to Cold War Garage after viewing a World War II replay. That's really nice. And missiles and HE shells that do not deal damage will no longer say bounced. There's a lot of tanks that have spaced armor, so they just eat it anyways. On Tuesday, the Italian heavies will be released. Uh, I'll go into more detail uh, in the next patch notes. So make sure to stay tuned for those. The Basante C-45 on 7.16 when they looked up the numbers... Uh, was number one in number of shots hit, number two in average lifetime, number three in damage dealt, number four in credits earned, number one in base XP earned, and number two in penetrating shots. We are aware that players may not feel this way. This is compared to all tier eight heavy tanks, and uh, there are 70 tanks total in that list. So, I still think this tank is trash. It's hot garbage. Until they give it its mechanic that's supposed to be from PC, it's going to be hot garbage, and it's going to continue to be hot garbage. The K91 Tech Tree line, we're going to be going over this very quickly because we've got more stuff to go in the next video. But I'll read out what's here. Tech Tree line balance changes the Object 416 at Tier 8 and the Object 430V2 at Tier 9. K91 is getting a full second reload reduction supported by an on-track discount, and the IS-4 mouse lines will be in the next in queue. The Tier 10 USSR T22 medium reload will be... Uh, will be decreased from 9.4 seconds to 7.6 seconds. So almost a two-second reload. Tank Commander PvP weak returns. Quality of life fixes. Rate of fire calculation for auto-reloaders in-game has been fixed. Spectator mode allows for the select tank button to be used. Uh, this was this did say post-mortem dying while drowning will no longer fix the camera to a dead tank, and they're following testing on that day, but it has not been fixed. I do believe since then it has been fixed. GIFs show properly in logs. The red dot on missiles and Fred Vaughn brightness are, have been adjusted. Filter commanders across game modes. Filters will now save. MOE and inscriptions will show on the Basante C-45. The missile capacity and reload stats have been added to the ammo dialog. And MBA balance in reduced rotation. We will continue to monitor if we need to remove it from the rotation. Well, the works in progress talked about no ETA unless stated section. No further news on ranked battles at this time. We will look into bots shooting through smoke. We are monitoring feature, uh, features PC introduced like Frontline. We will look into greater ways of increasing slash adjusting visual accessibility for players. Bots and custom games is on the wish list. Pain God talked about why it is impossible to port anything from PC due to differences in code. And there was an exclusive slip up, an unannounced tank was mentioned now i don't know what that was but we'll find out and a fourth mark of excellence is coming soon and i'll talk about that in the new patch notes so overall lots of bug fixes lots of good content coming in here um but nothing like uber special so it's just basic standard stuff so this is going to be a little bit shorter video um and i'm because i'm just going to go through the just some basic stuff here uh i again basante in my opinion hot dog shit needs to be buffed needs to be buffed and needs to give its correct uh, mechanic available. The Italian heavies, in my opinion, are also going to be nerfed into oblivion, and they do need to be. And I do, uh, and they have been confirmed to not be getting the their mechanic from PC. So, in my opinion, they're going to be hot dog shit anyways. So it, there's no point in getting them. Don't grind it; it's not worth. Uh, the special GI Joe content. I've been, you know, I'm going to be honest. I actually kind of like the content that's been so far this season. The GI Joe versus Cobra allows me to relive my childhood. 
So overall, and again, like I said, when I talked about the Roadblock and Baroness 3D Commanders, I think they did a good job on those. The facial recognition, I think, on the Baroness still needs a little bit of work, but the costumes for for Roadblock and especially for Baroness are absolutely top tier. Hands down, I definitely think that they are way better than the previous ones. Definitely have a little bit more detail, a little bit more oomph, I guess you could say. So, K91 Tech Tree, we'll skip that. Watch my next video, the one that's going to come out after this. T22 Medium, nice, just nice. Tank Commander PvP, we'll touch on that very, very shortly. The quality of life fixes, just overall, lots of really good bugs. Still think there needs to be a little bit more for, for spectator mode, but uh, for custom games, but overall, not too bad. So, and all of these, in my opinion, all of these are good, except this one. Can't port anything from PC due to differences in code. You have coders for a reason. Rewrite the fucking code. I guarantee you this is this this is regard to why we don't have the Italian heavy mechanic uh, of where if you shoot a shell, you continue to reload that shell and don't have to reset the reload timer. I guarantee you that's exactly what Pain God's talking about here. And in my opinion, that's bullshit. You need to fix that. The tank is fucking dog shit. The Basante is fucking trash. Hire more coders. If you don't have the ability to code it right now, hire more coders that can do the job for you. So, uh, and again, I don't know what the exclusive slip-up was. I don't know what tank this is. Um, if I get, if you guys know exactly what they were mentioning or what it was, post it down in the comments below. Let me know. Let me know what's going on with this, because I have no idea. I wasn't there for the stream, because I was a little busy, not going to lie. I was working on dealing with other shit. So, but overall... Uh, not not terrible patch notes. Actually, pretty pretty one of the mill patch notes. I'm, I'm actually fairly happy about that. Everything here has been pretty decent. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, question of the question of the day. Do you think the Italian heavies have to have their mechanic when they're brought here to console? Yes, no, and explain why. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And as always, good hunting. I'll catch you guys next time.